Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 10.4 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we're in Leicester on tour for opening night of the UK tour of Matilda. A West End fixture at the Cambridge Theatre, Matilda now embarks on its first UK tour. Of course, it remains every bit as poignant, powerful and outrageously enjoyable as it was when it first premiered in Stratford-upon-Avon all those years ago in 2010. Based on Roald Dahl's book about dealing with childhood terrors, from the perspective of both the adult and the child, it's a grown-up show but with a childhood wonder and heart. It's beautiful to look at, has fabulous production, located in a wonderfully witty framework of coloured alphabetic blocks by designer Rob Howell, as it was in London and in the original production. The UK tour is on the same scale as the West End and is, of course, spectacularly staged. It feels both intimate and larger than life at the same time, giving an escapism for the children to watch and indulge their passion in this fabulous book brought to life on stage. Matilda, of course, is a beautiful girl, a reader and a loner who is neglected by her parents. She's played by one of four young actresses at the performance we reviewed. Nicola Turner was astonishing with her incredible vulnerability, strength, power, personality, charm, wit and humour. Just fabulous. Tim Minchin, of course, writes the book to this beautiful musical. And it is, of course, bouncy, as you would expect from Tim Minchin. I'm not saying every song's a hit and you certainly won't come out humming most of them, but it's an enjoyable score nonetheless. Carly Thomas is also perfectly cast as Miss Honey in this production. The teacher who mentors Matilda. Matilda and has suffered her own emotional damage. She brings that pathos to the role. This show is a load of camp old nonsense in places, brought beautifully to life by Craig Ells, reprising his role as headmistress Miss Trunchbull. The part he previously played in the West End brings this fabulous, humorous, slightly ironic and is certainly a caricature role to life, hysterical for the kids and the adults alike. He's huge and incredibly imposing on stage and certainly one of a kind, a brilliant asset to this production. Matilda's parents are played by Rebecca Thornhill and Sebastian Tokia, and they, of course, are self-unaware of their caricatures and their comic timing within this show is perfect. The same can be said, of course, of Matthew Caputo, who is Matilda's somewhat dishevelled brother. The beautiful young cast play Matilda's school friends perfectly. It brings a joyous energy to the room and, of course, deserves its standing ovation at the end. This show has a sense of fun, irony, silliness and also pathos and heart, which is, of course, why it's so popular and meaningful for that. We have to give Matilda five stars on the road. It is a must-see hit. It's not the kind of show I want to see every day, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely worth seeing by Tim Minchin. Congratulations to the UK tour of Matilda, touring the UK through 2019. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 10.4 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!